Photoshop's artificial intelligence update has been out for about three weeks now and in today's video we're gonna explore the most effective and feasible use cases of the artificial intelligence tools man without further ado let's just jump right into using Adobe Photoshop generative fill so right now we have this this picture right here which is a meme that I found on reddit it's basically an 87 year old man who bought a Cadillac CTSV which I believe is a over 500 horsepower car so shout out to this old man to get started man we just hit the select tool right here on the side and i just want to fill in the rest of this image because it doesn't fill in the entire canvas so i just selected this white space and i hit generate a fill hit generate and we're going to let the artificial intelligence generate what it thinks the rest of this image should be and as you can see man the rest of this image has been filled in it finishes this uh burgundy car right here as well as these lines on the side and this is all just using artificial intelligence it uses its power to fill in the rest of this image which is very very crazy so next thing we're gonna do is remove the sales representative man we don't know what he said to get this man into this powerful car but he probably not doing the greatest task to society by putting this man in this powerful car on the road so let's just remove this sales representative right now and just like that man the headlights have been finished we also have the fog lights of the Cadillac CTSV just like that but the sales representative is gone it, but we want to sauce the old man up just a tad bit more. So let's give him a pet. And just like that, man, we have a tiger. We have our old man. He has his breathing device. He has his pet tiger. He has his Cadillac CTSV with no sales representative in the picture. Just like that, man, the image is done. I love it. I love it, man. And those are just some of the things that you can do with generated fill. Let's jump into our next photo that we're going to edit. Here's a photo of my baby, man, my Acura. TL man, nothing too crazy, just 3.2 liters of pure raw Japanese muscle. But we're gonna add some things to this image. So I wanna add a jet ski in the background just to see what creative fill we'll come up with. And just like that, man, we have three different alterations of a jet ski. Very, very clean. I like the second, I like the first and third ones the most because they actually have a person on it. So it looks a little more realistic. I think the third one is the most realistic looking, but they all do look like edits nonetheless because the, the jet ski isn't really um, edited for the depth of field perception of how deep and how far away images are. So as you can see, we have a yellow brick road added into our image. And with that being said, man, those are just some of the few things that you can do with Adobe Creative Fill. This is free for anybody to use, man. The beta is out. If you have Adobe Creative Cloud, let's make sure we take over artificial intelligence before it takes over us. Please join the CryptoQuam family. We're on the road to a million. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Without further ado, I'm out of here. Get a pack, then you get the mask. Get a pack of ChatGPT Open AI. Let it stack, then you run your bag. This would it be seven million one hundred thirty-six thousand dollars? Get a pack, then you get the mask. Get a pack, get them racks. Let them stack, then you run it back, okay?